And now continuing on, remembering one of our fallen heroes, I would like to bring up State Senator Tony Huang. Thanks, Marla. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. I am State Senator Tony Huang. I represent the towns of Fairfield, Easton, Westport, Newtown, and now Bethel. I'm so honored to be here with you today because we are here to honor the fallen hero. John Johnny E. Herbert. But it's an unusual story because it happened in July 1944. Army Sergeant Herbert was a member of the 105th Infantry Regiment, 27th Infantry Division from Madison, Connecticut. And he was killed July 7th that year during a massive attack against the 105th on the island of Saipan. And it's remarkable that after 77 years, he was finally brought home to rest in peace and given emotional closure to a military hero that made the ultimate sacrifice. So today, we honor his memory, we honor his sacrifice, and we honor the legacy of his name and his family. We have here today Kathleen Esposito, the niece of Sergeant Johnny Horwood, the daughter of John's sister, Doris Herbert Griffin. And thank you, Kathleen, for being here today. And thank you to your mother and the entire Herbert and Griffin family for your sacrifice on behalf of our country. As I prepare for this, I was reading and, and I was so touched because I want to quote Kathleen's comments upon realizing that he will be honored. And it said, it began with a knock on your door. And when you answered it, two army officers in full military dress stood outside, paying their respect. And Kathleen, you said you knew what was coming. And yet, you felt an overwhelming emotion. That is why 77 years later, we are doing this. Because it never eases. And that's why we're here to honor those that made the sacrifice. But you also had a poignant story that your mother told of you shared with you that you would talk she would talk about her brother john and she'd get out the letters and look at him and reminisce and fondly remember him and she would sing when johnny comes marching home and then all the kids would chime in and for you when those two servicemen left you couldn't stop singing that song for days and days because it brought back the memory that our fallen soldier's family will never lose. The loss of a loved one. So, and you said this, and you said to your mom up in heaven, I get it. Yes, he's finally home. Although he's not marching home, He's coming home. So thank you, Kathleen, for sharing that story to remind us why we're here today, why we honor our fallen soldiers. For me, as a policymaker, it is important for us to never, ever forget. We need to bring every soldier home.
for those missing in action, for prisoners of war, for those that are injured, for those that are continually struggling with the perils and the dangers and the evils of war. We need to bring them all home, every single one of them, even the ones that are home. We have an important responsibility to ensure that they are home at peace. And we need to provide the supportive services for their health, their mental health, and to honor them. We leave no one behind. This is important for me. And as long as Michael Mastroni asks me, I will always be here to honor the soldiers. Because for me, as a young child growing up in Taiwan, living in the shadow of communist China, under the constant fear and danger of a military attack, a stark and dark reality that exists right now today. And it existed and unfortunately is happening for the people of the Ukraine. To me, as a child growing up, the American soldier is not someone we see at services and, and Veterans Day and Memorial Day parades. For me, the American soldier was a protector, was an ambassador, and a symbol of freedoms and liberties that define what America meant to me as a child. It is why my family wanted to come to America. So I'm grateful to be an American, doggone proud, and I'm so honored to support those who protect us and preserve our American way of life and freedoms. So we do this ceremony, and it is a struggle. It's a beautiful Saturday. There are a hundred other things you could do, and I'm grateful that you're here. And for those that can't be here, I hope you realize that ceremonies and honors matter. I'm gonna quote President John F. Kennedy that says that as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not just to utter the words, but to live by them, just as our soldiers have done so when they made the sacrifice and their family to this day, 77 years later, remember them. So, 70 plus years later, better late than never, welcome home Johnny, and may God bless you, your family, and the United States of America. Rock.